What's up, YouTube? CardKid0107 here, coming back at you once again. Alright, uh, guys, I got a two-day mail recap. Uh, I wasn't able to make a video yesterday. I was pretty busy with work and school and all, um, but two days worth of mail. I got a total of six packages in, uh, one TTM and the rest are from eBay. Um, but pretty psyched. Just a few updates before I get into this. Um, yesterday was my brother's birthday. Uh, so happy birthday to my big brother, uh, very cool. Um, he's turning 18, by the way, so he can legally vote. <laughs> uh, so happy birthday to him, if he's watching. I don't even think he watches my videos. Uh, yeah. And then today, actually, Thursday, I have off of school, first of all, which is why I'm making the video at 1.50, uh, February 24th. Um, today is Puff Bear 359 also known as Dave, Dave Schneider. His birthday, uh, he's turning 40 today. You got the uh, Puff Bear birthday extravaganza coming up. I believe it's tomorrow. It might be Saturday, but um, having a fun time on blog. They're going to be drinking shots. <laughs> uh, no, but that's that. Puff Bear is turning 40. Happy birthday to you, Puff. I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. If everybody uh, went to his channel page and wished him a happy birthday, uh, that'd mean a lot to me. Uh, happy birthday to you, Puff Bear. Anyways, on to the mail from yesterday. It's going to be a fairly long video, but the one TTM I got in yesterday, uh, pretty happy. Took two weeks. I don't have the return envelope uh, from where it's coming from, but uh, longtime White Sox and Yankee great. I believe he played on the Yankees. Uh, Mr. Ron Kittle signed on a 1984 Fleer card. Uh, very happy to get this one back. Interestingly enough, um, my mom actually knew Ron Kittle. She went to the same physical therapy as him uh, back when he lived in the city. So very cool to get Ron Kittle back. Go send to him. Two weeks return. Very psyched about that. Um, very happy. And this next one is, is from eBay um, from yesterday. Really, really nice card. I paid about $8 shipped. I did not pay $15 what's on the label. Uh, but it's a signed index card certified by JSA, James Spence Authentication, which is, I think, just as good as PSA DNA. But everyone has their own opinions, right? Uh, Hall of Fame pitcher Bob Lemon. Um, he is dead actually, but it's signed very nice on the uh, index card right there. Uh, he's dead. Hall of Fame pitcher and the Indians, like I said, great, great pitcher. Happy to add that one to my Hall of Fame project. And like I said, it's certified, so cannot go wrong with that. Very, very happy to get that one in. Uh, very psyched. Next on to the packages in today. Four packages. Uh, very happy with everything, and uh, you'll see why. Um. The first one coming in from least to best, we got the 1996 Bowman Chrome Mickey Mantle Refractor uh, reprint of the 1952 Bowman Rookie Card of him. Um, there you go. Kind of a long run down there, but it's a refractor from the 90s. I'm really getting into these 90s refractors and inserts. I like them a lot, actually. You know, back when they had, back when uh, before jersey cards were around, you know, this was your big hit out of the box. Picked it up for $4 ship. Buy it now, actually. So, happy to get that. I'm actually looking to complete the whole insert set of the 52 Bowman Mantle reprints from 96. Uh, there's the regular, the chrome, the refractor. This is the refractor. And the atomic refractor. I believe the atomic's worth the most, um, but looking to get that one in. As you can see, it does say refractor right there. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but happy to get that one. And then this next one... Uh, Excuse me. Long time no see on the vintage cards. Uh, yo, what up, vintage? Uh, I haven't done vintage in, what, like two months now? Uh, you long time watchers used to see me get vintage cards a lot. <laughs> uh, I've been doing mostly modern stuff now, building up the modern. I got a ton of vintage, you know, graded and everything. I should show you my graded box. It's, oof, full, ridiculous. Um, but, I was searching under vintage and I found this one uh, for five dollars shipped. Could not pass it up. 1969 tops. Jim Palmer, Hall of Fame pitcher on the Baltimore Orioles. Very very cool card. Um, it's actually in pretty good shape. If I were to grade it uh, by PSA standards, I would probably say it's a uh, 5.5, maybe a six. Um, yeah, I'm not looking to pick up you know high grade uh, cards depending on who the player is, but you know. It's not graded, but it's in pretty good shape. The corners are uh, good. The centering is actually very good, which is the reason why I picked it up. From 69, the centering can be off quite a bit. 
Um, especially on these high numbers, this is number 573. Um, but the edges are, you know, probably what brings it down. But very cool card right there, Jim Palmer. Awesome pitcher. And these next two are for modern, my PC, 2006 Tops Triple Threads, Triple Jersey, numbered out of 18, Roy Oswalt. Spells out 20 wins. I got this card for, for $5. Uh, Oswald's not the best player, but um, he's okay. So $5 shipped. You cannot pass up Triple Threads cards at that price. Um, first year Triple Threads was made, actually. like this one a lot. And this last one is probably the most high-end one. And I got it for $8.50. What a steal. Um, that's all I got to say. The card is in uh, decent shape. You know, it's tough to get these... Sterling cards in such good shape because they're so damn thick. They're huge. That's what she said. <laughs> um, number 15 out of 25. 09 top Sterling quad game used of Eddie Murray. Hall of Famer. It's my third game used card of Eddie Murray. Very cool. Um, it's a jersey jersey, bad jersey. Um, I don't know which one's away in home jerseys, but very cool. 15 out of 25. This is my second quad of from 09. I have the Eckersley quad too. That I got from 10 bucks, but very nice card. Eddie Murray, uh quad game user. Happy to pick that one up. Anyways guys, that's all I got for today. Hope everyone liked uh the mail day. I will be getting some more stuff in. Um I got a lot of Jeters coming in which I'm really, really pumped about. I was trying to bid on a Jeter jersey, uh but you know, all the Jeter jerseys go for like twelve, fifteen bucks. It's like unbelievable. Uh, but I'm looking to pick up some Jeter game use at the show, maybe around seven dollars if they have it in my price range. Um, but for now, I'm just trying to pick up the inserts and whatnot. But that's all I got for today. Um, go wish Puff Bear a happy birthday, and that's it. All right, talk to everyone later. Peace out.